The ability to share data in XNet is one of its most powerful features, but it's also one of the most difficult to manage. In this lecture, we're going to demonstrate a classic sharing setup using the UXE multi-site study from one of our practical exercises. This is a classic example of an umbrella project that is gathering data from multiple sites. We have a parent project called UXE that has data shared into it from two other projects, UXE London and UXE New York. We have a third project over here called UXE Seoul, and our job is going to be to share data from that site into the parent project. During this demo, I'm going to be logging in as three different users. UXE Owner, which has access only to the parent project. UXE Seoul Owner, which has access only to the Seoul site project. And UXE All, which has owner access to each of these projects. To start off, I'm logged in as UXE All with access to both the UXE Seoul project and the UXE Umbrella project. Looking at the UXE Umbrella project, I can see that we already have subjects and experiments shared in from two other projects. If we choose this uh, subject here, we can see that it was shared from the UXE London project. You'll also notice that the experiment is highlighted as shared. That's because our ability to modify this data is limited. I'll explain that in a moment. If we look at the subject details panel, we can see the unique accession ID in XNet for this subject. No matter how many times the subject or experiment is shared, there's always only one original instance of it, and that resides in its original project. This ID points to that. If we navigate to this instance of the subject in its original project, we can see that it has a different label here. It was given a new label when it was shared into the common project. That's something we could edit here if we wanted. This gives us a pattern that we can use to share our data from the UXE Seoul project, so let's navigate over there and pick a subject. If you click on the Projects tab here, you can select a project to share into. After selecting a project, you'll be prompted to pick which of the subject's experiments to store and what to label them. If we navigate back to the UXE Umbrella project, we can see that our subject and its session have now been included. If we log out and log back in as a user with only access to the UXE Soul project, you'll see that we're unable to share those subjects to any other project. This is simply because this user can't see any other projects. Likewise, if I log out and log back in with the, as a user with only access to the UXE Umbrella project, you'll see that even as an owner of this project, we're unable to edit this data. That's because none of this data is owned by this project. In order to edit shared data, you have to have edit privileges on that data's original project. However, you can see that the UXE Umbrella project can add data to this shared subject, which I'll do very quickly with an empty placeholder. You can see that this shared subject now has an experiment that is native to this project alongside the one that came from its original project. And now if I log out and log back in as a user of that subject's original project, you'll see the following in the subject data listing. View all available data for this subject. Clicking that reveals our new experiment, 
which this user does not have access to because it is native to the UXE umbrella project. So, what happens, you might ask, with an evil smile, if I decide to unshare this subject? What, what would happen to that new data on it? The answer is, you can't. XNet doesn't allow it. Not without removing that experiment first. I'll demonstrate. In our upcoming practical exercises on project types, we'll look at two different types that use sharing in a similar way. One is an umbrella project like we just saw, and the other is a longitudinal project or a series of longitudinal projects that use a shared common subject pool.